Good evening. I don't know about you guys, but the weather is changing rapidly. Here in Ontario, it is really chilly and I'm already starting to feel that tightness in my skin. So I really wanted to film today's video in natural daylight so that you get a proper view of what I'm doing. I don't necessarily like filming in my bathroom. For some reason, the lighting is just off in the bathroom. So we're filming in the bedroom today. Now, the products that I'm sharing today are the ones that I love using when I just want to focus on moisture and hydration. I like to take breaks from my active ingredients, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, a few times per month. But now that fall is here and winter is around the corner, I like to take more breaks from my actives and just focus on a skincare routine that provides my skin with moisture and hydration. As you know, with actives, these types of products can irritate and dry out our skin, tretinoin, retinol, vitamin C, AHAs, but then when you have the furnace on, your skin becomes drier and tighter and rosier. And then you mix that in with those actives, our skin can become quite compromised. And I've been there many times. So let's get moisturized, let's get hydrated. I hope this routine will resonate well with you as well. You can use these products every day, twice a day. Of course, you can just use these when you need it or you can pick up a few of these products in this video and incorporate them in your skincare routine that you have already going. You can do whatever you want. But these are the ones that I strictly use together just to keep my skin in check. So let's get right into today's video. And of course, these products will be linked below for you in my description box. So before we get into today's video, I should let you know that I am 36. I have combination skin. I am breakout prone. I do experience the odd hormonal breakouts and sometimes depending on the product I am using, I may break out as well. It just depends. I never know what's going to happen. Also, my skin can be a little sensitive at times. I do have a little bit of redness to my skin naturally as well. I have freckles and recently I had a blemish underneath a freckle and I have this dark spot now go figure my freckle is darker because of the pimple that was underneath it so yeah if you see that that's what it is but anyways that is my skin type and I do like to use a lot of products to treat early signs of aging and of course to brighten up my skin in the process now the first product that I've already used because earlier I had this sunscreen on and my skin felt so tight and so dry I had to remove it before this video so I went in with the ordinary glycolipid cream cleanser and this is fabulous for those that have dry skin and it's a great cleanser that is super gentle it's non stripping it's perfect for all skin types and it's creamy it doesn't leave a film on the skin it does lather up quite nicely on the skin as well and it just cleanses so Beautifully. So if you want something for every day twice a day, this really is lovely. So again, I've already cleansed my skin So when it comes to a routine that provides my skin with a lot of moisture and hydration I apply everything onto damp skin. This is going to allow these types of products to absorb better I'm going to have more of that plumper look to my skin and my skin is going to stay hydrated longer as well Now when I'm using active ingredients like tretinoin AHA's retinol I always put my actives on dry skin to prevent quick absorption because this could lead to further dryness and irritation for a lot of skin types. And if I put tretinoin onto damp skin, I will experience more flakiness with my skin a couple of days later. So when it comes to actives, they go on dry skin. When it comes to everything else, I put it on damp skin. So the first product that I use after my cleanser is the Caudalie Grape Water. This is a great product to use in between your products to keep your skin damp so that you get better absorption. So I'm going to lightly mist this across my skin. So my face and my neck, and I'm just going to lightly pat that in. Now I'm gonna go in with the Neod Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. This is a great mist to hydrate, but also to reduce on rosiness of the skin. But this has a lot of antioxidants, so this is also great for signs of aging, and it can help protect your skin from everyday pollution. So great for your morning routine, great for your evening, and I do like to put this onto damp skin as well. So I'm going to spray this all over my face and my neck. Now once I've sprayed that, I also like to pat this into my skin and spread it around. So 
So now that my skin is still damp, I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Amino Acids Plus B5. This is a great hydrating serum, but it also helps to repair the skin at the same time. And I use this when I'm using my actives, but I also use this in skincare routines like this as well. So I'm going to apply a full syringe amount. And this serum is like water, so it's very thin and lightweight. And your skin also absorbs this quite quickly. And this serum really does the job well to keep the skin comfortable. This serum is very underrated. I talk about this all the time. You guys know that, especially if you've been with me for a while. If the ordinary ever, ever, and I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it. But if they ever discontinued this product, I don't even know what I'd do. I don't know what I would do. I would honestly have a meltdown because this serum has truly saved my skin when it's, in the worst state and also it keeps my skin comfortable and balanced when it's in a good state it really is a wonderful serum so i'm going to go back in with the caudalie grape water just to moisten things up a little bit and now i'm going in with the cosrx advanced snail mucin power essence this is a great product to add more moisture as this also contains hyaluronic acid, panthenol, betaine. So it can also be very repairing. And I will use this in my morning routine a lot as well because it just has that nice texture that works well with makeup and sunscreen. So I actually like to put two pumps of this and I also really like how it looks slimy, but I promise you when you have this on your skin, your skin is not sticky or tacky. Everything dries down quite nice but it just has that beautiful formulation and texture where your skin just feels extremely moisturized after you've used this. So great to pair up with your actives if you need something beforehand just to moisturize everything, but this is also great just to use every day, twice a day, whether your skin needs it or not. It really is lovely. And this will also provide your skin with a little glow as well, so if you love that, then you're going to love this. So my skin is quite damp right now. I honestly don't need to go back in with the Caudalie Grape Water. So I'm going to go in with an eye cream now, and this is the Biosauce Squalene Plus Marine Algae. I really, really love this eye cream. It is great for signs of aging, but it's also a fabulous eye cream for moisture. And sometimes during the fall winter months, I can become a little dry in the inner corner. So this cream really helps to keep everything nice and plump moisturized and hydrated. So less is more when it comes to the eye area. You honestly don't need a lot. I will put a little bit on the eyelids, but not too much. And of course, if you don't want to use an eye cream, then you can just use your face moisturizer up and around your eye area, especially if your eye area can tolerate that. So now I'm going back in with the Caudalie and I'm going right in with moisturizer. So I'm gonna be using the Paula's Choice Barrier Repair Advanced Moisturizer. This is their newest launch. This has shea butter. There are several different types of ceramides in here which can help prevent trans epidermal water loss. So ceramides can help to keep moisture in the skin, but it can also help to repair and strengthen your skin barrier at the same time. And shea butter is extremely moisturizing. So this really is lovely. So I'm going to go in with this but I will show you a few other options that I do like to resort to as well. So I put one pump and one pump will give me that amount there. So if my skin was super dry, I would probably put two pumps, but my skin isn't quite there right now. So this really is sufficient. It spreads really nice and it's also quite lightweight, but very, very moisturizing. I feel like you will really love this, especially if you are looking for something that keeps your skin comfortable, something that's rich, but also lightweight. So I would apply this underneath my eyes as well if I didn't use an eye cream. You could still put this on top of an eye cream if you really wanted to, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. My skin feels very moisturized at this point. You can see that I have this nice glow. My skin just looks nice and dewy and hydrated and that's what I'm looking for with a routine like this. 
So loving this. So if I'm not using this, then I will sometimes go in with the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. This is exceptional to moisturize and repair the skin. This is the new formulation. This contains dimethicone now, which is a silicone. And so that is the only difference with the new formulation now. And I feel like there's been a lot of mixed reviews on this. I honestly haven't had an issue with it. I actually feel like it performs pretty much the same as the original one, but except for this has silicone now. I think this is still great. It's still moisturizing and it still is lovely to pair up with your actives as well to help with dryness. And if I'm not using that, then I will use the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Phytoceramides. This is their newest moisturizer and this is very rich, very moisturizing. It's satisfying to use, especially when your skin is super dry and flaky and tight. There is oil in the formulation. So again, it's very moisturizing and I like this way better than the original natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid. My skin never felt content with the original formulation. They still have that moisturizer just so you know. So if you want something that isn't as rich and heavy, go with that one. But if you want something that is really moisturizing, I would say go with the phytoceramides. And of course, if I'm not using these, then sometimes I will use the Pharmacy Honey Halo, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. There are many creams that I like to use depending on what I feel like. Now there is one more step that I typically do, especially when my skin is very dry and it's feeling tight. I'm actually not going to be applying it because my skin is feeling incredible right now and I don't need any more moisture, but I usually also apply the Summer Fridays Jet Leg Mask on top of my moisturizer to lock in moisture, but also to add more. And this does a fabulous job when your skin needs some TLC. So this is great to use on its own in replacement of your moisturizer. This is great to use on top of your moisturizer and you can use this as a mask. So you can put a decent layer all over, leave it on for as long as you want and then wipe it off and then put your moisturizer on top if you wish to do that. I don't generally do that because I feel like it's a little wasteful. So I do like to keep this on and work it in my skin. And again, I will put this on top of La Roche-Posay, on top of the Paula's Choice, or on top of the Ordinary Moisturizer. Whatever moisturizer I am using, I will put this on top of it. And this has niacinamide in it. There's a lot of great ingredients in here for signs of aging, but also to moisturize and repair the skin barrier. So again, I'm not gonna be using this today because my skin is looking very glowy, it's feeling dewy, but this is fabulous. Now the last step, of course, is to apply a lip balm of some kind. I do have a lot of favorites, but I use the Aquaphor a lot. And I really like this, it does the job well, so I put a little layer at nighttime, a little layer in the morning, sometimes during the day if I feel like I don't want to use a lip balm, a tinted lip balm or like a lipstick, I will use this and it does the job well. So it's affordable. You can get this at the drugstore. As you know, you can use this all over the body. There are many uses, but it's amazing for the lips. So that is the skincare routine that I like to use when I'm not using my actives and also a routine to keep my skin moisturized and hydrated. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it helpful. Hopefully I was able to introduce you to a few new products. Remember, these products can be used every day, twice a day, and you can also pair them up with your actives as well if you choose to. Everything will be linked below for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask away in that comment section. But since the night is still young, I feel feel like I'm going to make a snack, put on some Netflix. I will most likely watch Bridgerton. Yeah, I think I'm going to watch Bridgerton. I am watching season two right now. And honestly, I've watched season one and season two three times. I really have. I am rewatching season two. I just love Bridgerton so much and I cannot wait for season three. So let me know if you're also a Bridgerton fan and also stay tuned. I will be uploading my winter skincare routines, both my morning and evening. And I will be sharing what I like to use for anti-aging, but also products to keep my skin comfortable during those colder temperatures. So stay tuned that will be coming up very soon, but thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys